it's alternative between the three petals so you can press it down and always get this in the closer to the inner here i'm usually using the tip to make a little bit um blending thinner so then that's why when you layer the second layer they will go really nice and smooth in it instead of have really big bumps on it so press it down and then you know with this paddle when i get the size of like a like a side of the bean you can go much bigger as you prefer you don't have to go small if your clients or if you want like a bigger flower do so if you want a smaller flowers then you can get a smaller beads i'm gonna get that one press on the left using the belly using the tip to guide it and then using a belly of it to just really gently is like press it down press down down and then same thing with this one make it like a blending in the inner like thin inside okay and then you can also flash key this one for quick 20 seconds 30 seconds and then we can do it another layer so do the same thing but then the second layer the second layer petals will be on like overlap on the top of others so this is a first look super quick simple as your sunflower so here now you get like three colors i should get the name of it but i didn't have a name it here but this one is a go the um this is a golden this is the yellow sun and this is high noon. So like have really like a really cool golden, goldenish, like um like maybe orange yellow, I think. Yeah, it's, it's like a little warmer colors. Warmer colors and then a little bit lighter and then lighter. So it doesn't matter whatever you do, you can use either one of them. It looks really cute. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use three of this. We're gonna get a smaller. You good, babe? Mm -hmm. I said the beat cycle. Like, I'm traveling. Normally, I get it out from the uh, pot. But this time, I said, "Oh, I'm just gonna do it first. So I can show you. All right, I'm gonna do it layer. Now, if you don't wanna do a second layer, you can just skip completely second layer and then just put the crystal or put the beads on, however you would like. You don't have to go all the way to the second layer. I'm gonna just do it to show you that the option you can do with second layer or with or without. Either with or without, it looks cute anyway. So you can see that I did the second layer. I put it in the overlap, which is, is going to be overlap between two, two petals of the first layer. And using the tips of the silicone brush, this is special that we design the shape and the link and special design of the tip of it for is 40 gels and 5 gels. So using the tip and guide it, pour it tits on the paddle and then spread on the left and on the right. So now I'm gonna take advantage if it's still wet. What I'm gonna do, I'm adding a couple of the petals. Maybe I'll get half of it. This is, you know what's great about 
40 gel is glee 40 gel if you are going to do your beads and you feel your beads like oh i want to beat this a little bit smaller absolutely so let me do this one first so then i'm going to show you you can do it press it down same with this press it down and in the middle and then we'll go to the left and to the right this 3d door brush do all the work for you so then that way you can really really having so much fun and create so many of different uh, 3d nail art that you wanted press down again same thing with this And I will give it a little bit of a crease so it looks just really nice and it doesn't look like your flower is like flat, flat, you know? Great. And then you can add some like leaves here, which is I'm going to add just a smaller right there. Just a little leaf i'm gonna do is the leaf is so smaller and it's a great thing you can adjusting it and you can add your leaf to be bigger smaller you see it's gonna go really tiny and using the tips of the silicone So that unlike any others, like a big, huge silicone out there, this is go really, really detailed into yours um, for the gel scripting. I love this. It looks so cute and it's so springy. <clears throat> And you can continue to add more leaves as you prefer. And then now it's still wet. So I am, I mean, it's not wet. It's like not drying yet, but it's like in the form of a uh, real easy. It's not running anywhere. It's not go anywhere, but you can't like smash it, like touching it and smash it. But then you can able to hold on to a second. And then I'm going to using the condensed glue gels. And I am going to add it right in the center of the flower. You know, you can continue with this if you are um, seeing some of my video. If you are first time tuning in, I have uh, so many of videos that I can show you with either you put crystal on at the center of the nails or you using the petal to make a last petal um, source on the center of the of the flowers either way. Um, whatever however you would like or your clients would like so i'm going to add in on the any edges of the um, petals and don't forget to add the you no know, wipe top coat on the top even though we're using just a little uh condensed blue gel but we want to make sure that we are going to hold the little crystal and they will last until you are going to change into the new one so let's see gloves or you can using this mix bags from sabak either way i'm gonna try to find some like cuties green right here right here oh let me see maybe i can show you the green right there is that cute you mm -hmm. like yes, cute. i put a bigger one you can do however you want. Oh, my flower fish. This one, I got it from the uh, starter. Valentine's starter kits. Let's say Valentine, but it just pretty much is work for any, any, any different occasion in these eyes. One more pink. 
that's it you can add more like um leaf in here however you would like you can dress so many as you prefer and if you're happy with this we're going to cure this for 60 seconds <laughs> 